hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here please subscribe and make sure you like this video because i already know you're gonna like it and yeah that's it this video let's talk about how i gained weight <laughs> so if you guys are new to my channel um if you don't already know i am on a weight loss journey and i am doing um like keto low carb type situation so this week i usually do a weigh-in every sunday and last week i was 221.4 and this week i was 222.2 so I gained a pound or almost a pound. Um, and I'll put that somewhere so you can see. But um, I wanted to talk about that. And I don't want to skip this Sunday just because I gained weight. Um, because I want to keep this authentic. I want to do it every single Sunday. So um, I'm just going to roll with it. I have several reasons why this happened. So let's go ahead and talk through them. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about my diet, what I ate. Then I'm gonna talk about my exercise routine. Then I'm gonna talk about any changes that I noticed. And then um, things that I wanna do from here on out to further my progress. So let's talk about um, what I ate. So this week was a huge, gigantic struggle. And I didn't film a whole lot because Honestly, I didn't feel like it. This week was PMS week for me. Um, I knew that it was, well, I knew it was the week before I got my period. Okay. So there were cravings. There were um, days where I didn't feel good, where I was bloated, where my stomach hurts. Um, there were days where I was just so exhausted and I just felt, I just felt bad. Okay, so, and some periods are good where I don't feel any of that. And then some periods are really bad. So this one was a bad one. I don't know if it was because of my diet change or what, but this was a bad period. Okay, so as far as my eating, I would, I would say the beginning of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, I did good. Um, I didn't eat that much. I stayed to my 11 to 5 window of intermittent fasting and I did good. Now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I can't sit here and tell you that I did good because I did not. There were days where I had candy, chocolate, the real chocolate, not the keto stuff. I had a few chips. I had fast food. I had biscuits. I had grilled cheeses. You know, I pretty much ate what I wanted when I felt like it, okay? So I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Um, I truly feel that I did this because of my hormones. And this is a debatable topic. Like some people believe that there's no such thing as a PMS and a hormones and all this. A lot of people think that you can control it. Oh, just because you have the cravings, you can control it, you don't have to. And I hear you, but I didn't want to control it, okay? I felt bad and I wanted to give into it and that's exactly what I did. So there are about three days where I didn't eat good at all. Um, now I didn't, I don't think I went overboard. I don't think I had like a whole lot of calories, but I definitely ate more than I have been in the past few weeks. So there's that. Honestly, I don't feel bad about it because I'm a woman. You know, if a man says something different to this, they honestly, there's no room for them to talk because they don't understand what a woman's body grows, goes through. So for all the men that are judging, um, don't really care uh, because you don't understand. So, you know, I don't understand some things that men go through, so I can't speak on that, but I can definitely speak on this. And I gave into it and I don't feel bad, y'all. I really don't. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't. One, because I've been doing excellent these past three weeks. I've been doing great. I'm extremely proud of myself. 
I did lose weight, okay? I did an awesome job and I'm proud of myself. And if I wanna go two, three days where I want something sweet or I want some bread or something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I know now that I can commit to something a little more strict, which now I probably will, um, but I'm not gonna break down over it. As you can see on the scale, I only gained a pound, a little less than a pound, okay? So there's that um, as far as the food goes. That's what happened with the food. As far as exercise, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I think Thursday too, I did go walking. Friday, Saturday, nope. Today, nope. So there were three days where I did not go walking. I don't feel bad about that either because I did get four days in this week. Um, but I didn't feel like it, you guys. I just didn't want to. So I allowed myself to do that and I don't feel bad at all, okay? I don't feel like I regressed. I don't feel like I went back. I don't feel like I backslid. I don't feel like I did any of that because I didn't. I listened to what my body wanted and that's what happened. So there's that. As far as the changes that I've noticed, well, oh, I don't know if you can see, but let me zoom in. Mm-hmm. Matilda, everybody say hello, welcome. Me and Matilda are doing this video together. Um, and I know that is definitely because of my period. Like there's, keto had my skin flawless and it still is like, she's still glowing and everything, but Matilda, you know, she's strong. She found a way to bust through there. And so she's here. Um, but for a limited time only, she just made a special guest appearance, but she's about to go, she's about to die. But I know that's definitely my hormones because this whole time I wasn't eating sugar. That's definite hormone. Okay, this was before I cheated and all that. She was already on her way. She was on the plane in the air. She was coming, she was on her way. Like I said, another change, this period was really bad for me. I felt terrible. Um, and like I said, I don't know if it's because of the diet or what it was, but I felt miserable. Um, but my period came in the normal amount of time that it should have. Like it wasn't super late. It was actually a day early based on my app. Um, so that's pretty good. Like other than that, um, I still felt the same way. I just had the cravings. It is what it is. So what am I going to do different this week? So honestly, I thought I would gain like way more weight based on me not moving. Like I, I stopped exercising for three days. I ate what I wanted for three days. I really thought the scale was going to be higher than that, but it really wasn't. And to be all the way honest, I think, this is just me, but I think um, the weight that I did gain was water weight. And I feel like I was way heavier in the week just because of the bloat and the water that I was holding on to. I feel like a lot of that like affected my weight. So just because I saw it go up, it doesn't mean that I did anything wrong or anything like that. Cause honestly, I don't feel like I did. Um, I had some weak moments and some weak days, but I'm, I'm good. So I think a lot of that was water weight. Um, that's the way I really feel because the bloating was super heavy to the point where it was uncomfortable. Like my lower stomach hurt from the bloat. It was just terrible. So I think it had something to do with that. I feel like my next check-in on Sunday, um, the numbers will be lower because I'll be back to my regularly scheduled program. I did get my period on Friday, so um, I feel so much better. Once I get my period, I feel amazing, okay? So I feel good right now. Um, this is day three, so during the week, it's gonna look like subside and I'll be back to my normal self, which I honestly, I already feel like I'm back to my normal self now. I feel that way right now. So I know I'm gonna exercise more this week because um, I already feel it. I know I'm gonna eat better this week. So I really do feel like I can reach a weight loss goal this week. So if I'm 222 right now, I really feel like I can get to 218 or 217. I really wanna get in the high teens. Um, and I feel like I can do that this week because I don't have the extra situations. Yeah, but I did wanna come on here and be honest and be truthful. And I wanted to let you guys know that it's okay if you have a day where you just don't eat low carb or whatever. 
that's fine, okay? I know a lot of people are gonna like get on you and stuff like that. First of all, it's none of their business. Second of all, um, don't deprive yourself like that. Like you can allow it, but you do, I will say you do have to have the power to come back to your healthy eating, you do. Now, if you know you don't have that type of power, then you might need to stay on you know, your strict diet or your strict lifestyle change. But um, it's okay. Like, it's okay to have a biscuit, to have a sandwich. It's okay as long as you go back to it. So I feel like this week is going to be my redemption week and I'm going to go back to it. And my body's going to return back to its normal self and the pounds are going to shut off just like they have been for the first three weeks. So, um, but I did just want to update you guys and let you know that I'm human too. And you know, the number on the scale is more than it was last week. Not by much, but it's still more. So um, don't get discouraged if that happens. You know, our bodies go through a lot of things. And just because you see the weight increase a little bit or decrease a little bit or whatever, it doesn't mean that um, you're just doing something majorly wrong. Your body just changes. Um, our fluids change. Everything changes, especially for women. So I'm not too hard on myself about that. 222 is not bad from where I came from. So I just know this week it'll probably come off because my body will return back to where it was. So that's it, guys. Um, That's all I had. So I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.